Welcome to lesson number 3, module 3 of the Big Data and Hadoop Developer course. So in this particular lesson, we will be learning how files are stored in HDFS. So in the previous lesson, we have learned what exactly is a block, the replication and metadata, concepts such as checksum, balancer and decommissioning. So in this particular lesson, we will be understanding how a file is getting stored in HDFS, how the process happens, and we will also have a look at the graphical representation of the same. So since we have learned our basics about HDFS, things such as block size, replication factor, and rack awareness, let's now put together all these pieces together and see how a file is stored in HDFS. Now in this particular slide we have shown you the pictorial representation or the concept wise representation of the same. In the next slide we will take an example and show the process in a detailed manner. Now when a file is getting stored in HDFS, the first concept that we need to understand is that any file which is large will get divided into blocks and then only the file will be moved to HDFS. Now this depends on the size of the block. By default like we understand in Hadoop version 2 the block size is 128 megabytes. That means any file which is larger than 128 megabytes will be divided into blocks of 128 megabytes. Now once we have the blocks, the second step is each block is replicated on multiple nodes. Now the primary copy of the block will be stored in a particular data node and HDFS will ensure that at least two more copies are present in the system and they are kept on different data nodes. So to speak, the default replication factor in Hadoop is 3 and this number is completely configurable. Now, like discussed in the third point, the replication factor decides how many copies of a particular block should be present in the entire cluster. Now, the blocks are distributed across the cluster in a rack aware manner. In the sense, the blocks are intelligently placed on data nodes as well as racks to prevent a node level as well as rack level failure. Now, last but not least, the metadata information is stored on the name node. Now, the metadata usually consists of the file name and how many blocks make up that file and where are these blocks stored and where are the replication copies also stored. The metadata also consists things such as block level permissions for users accessing the particular file. Now let's bring up a practical situation and understand this concept in detail. So in this particular example, we have a very large file and imagine that this file is divided into three blocks. So we have block 1, block 2 and block 3. <coughs> now as you can see from the picture, we have five data nodes and a single name node. Now the block 1 is stored in data node 1. However, the copies of block 1 are stored in data node 3 and data node 4. Block 2, the primary copy has been kept on data node 2. The replicas are stored in data node 4 and data node 5. Block 3, the primary copy is kept on data node 1. The replicas are kept on data node 2 and 3. Now the name node has the metadata which tells how the file is split and where each blocks and the replicas are stored. So to wrap up in this particular lesson we have learned how a large file is getting divided and stored in a Hadoop cluster utilizing replication. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to raise a support ticket. Thank you.